Hello, my fellow miner. Greetings from actually no, they are not greeting you, they are greeting their laptop. They have really bought into the whole idea of AI and they are afraid of angering Skynet. We're tech hippies. Now let's have a look at what we're going to have a look at. Today we're going to test four different NVIDIA drivers, two in HiveOS and two in Windows 10. We will be using T-Rex Miner version 0.24.8 to test them all. But before we get into it, and this is very exciting, our very first sponsor. Do you feel like everyone is demanding more and more from you? That you just don't have the time? Sad that your productivity is lagging? Disappointed in yourself? All alone and no one in the world can help you? Well, you are wrong. Introducing Miner's Divers. Increasing productivity since 1899. They are comfortable, stylish and unisex. Become popular on social medias again. Increase your productivity at work and get that promotion you always wanted by skipping pooping time. Boost your medical career by taking 24 hour shifts without pooping. Increase your hash rate tenfold by skipping the bathroom time. Minor Stibers for a happier and more productive life. I would like to thank you for subscribing. You made it possible. Thank you very much. If you have already watched my card introduction, then feel free to skip ahead. Quickly moving on like a ninja, uh, we're going to have a look at the RTX 3060 LHR version 2 from Sotag Gaming. It has been working perfectly in very good quality to be honest. The RTX 3060 Ti from Asus, their tough series. No, that is actually the wrong picture. There. Now we have the right one. The graphic card comes with two balls of steel in each fan. Military grade. Yes, yes. A piano was dropped on my head as a kid, so I am legally excused. Then we have the RTX 3070. I chill 4X from Inno 3D. It's actually surprisingly good. The quality is top notch. I have not changed anything. It's super cool actually. And then of course it comes with lots of RGBs that you cannot turn off via the software because the software part sucks. But it doesn't matter because more RGBs, more mega hash. Up next we have the RTX 3070 Ti from Sotag Gaming, also known as the DIY 3070 Ti because it drops thermal padding and comes with screws that have fallen out. I actually expected the quality to be uh, on pair with their RTX 3060. Oh boy, was I wrong. What a pile of poop. And then we have the RTX 3080 LHR from Gigabyte Vision Overclock Revision 2. It's actually quite good looking, but I wish you could get it in black brushed metal instead. Even though it doesn't really matter because it's part of my mining rig and I never see it. And now it's time for the last card, the RTX 3080 Ti from Inno 3D iChill X4. Yes, I'm very well aware that it looks exactly like their RTX 3070 edition. Um, it is. Actually, the pictures are also exactly the same, so I had to take the one with the box. I said their graphic card is good quality, not their software and definitely not their homepage. That is a very good example of what happens when you take a back-end software developer and put him or her to make a homepage. If you haven't subscribed, Uncle Donkey would very much like you to hit subscribe and afterwards that bell notification. Yes, the bell so you can get spammed even while you sit on the toilet. I mean, who doesn't want to get a random notification at random times around the clock? It is very nice. So remember to hit the bell notification and you will get unwanted messages all the time. It's time to have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 LHR version 2. The top half shows T-Rex in Windows and the bottom half T-Rex in HiveOS. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 LHR version 2. I locked the core clock to 1552 and set the memory to 2600 in HiveOS which is 1300 in Windows. If you use Windows or Nice has in Windows, you can create a bash file based upon what you see here. Now let's have a look at your clock settings for the RTX 3060 Ti LHR Mining Ethereum. I locked the core clock to 1350 and set the memory clock to 2100 in HiveOS, which is 1050 in Windows. If you use Windows or Nice has in Windows, you can create batch files based upon what you see here. 
Let's have a look at the RTX 3070 LHR's ore clock settings for mining Ethereum. I locked the core clock to 11.25 and set the memory to 2600 in high volumes, which is 1300 in Windows. If you use Windows or nice has in Windows, you can create batch file based upon what you see here. Let's have a look at the ore clock settings for the RTX 3070 Ti mining Ethereum. I locked the core clock to 1050 and set the memory clock to 2400, which is 1200 in Windows. If you use Windows or nice hash in Windows, feel free to create batch files based upon what you see here. Now let's have a look at the ore clock settings for the RTX 3080 LHR mining Ethereum. I locked the core clock to 1500 and the memory clock to 3400 in high voice, which is 1700 in Windows. If you use Windows or Nice Hash in Windows, feel free to create batch files based upon what you see here. Let's have a look at the ore clock settings for the RTX 3080 Ti with the BIOS update mining Ethereum. If you don't know which BIOS update I'm referring to, then I'll drop a link in the description. I locked the core clock to 1200 and set the memory clock to 2600. That is 1300 in Windows. If you use Windows or nice has in Windows, feel free to create batch files based upon what you see here. Let's have a look at the average reported results for all the cards and all the drivers. If you notice on the miner screen that uh, both miners have been running for over 9 hours, that is the case for all the drivers here. They consist of the average of all 9 hours with the exception of the first 15 minutes as that is where LHR tuning runs amok. You cannot just use a uh, peak report, you have to take an average or else you'll end up with gibberish results. Now let's dive into it by having a look at the average reported results for the RTX 3060 LHR. Nvidia driver 470.74 in hardware gives 36.4 MHz per second at 105 watts with an efficiency rating of 0.347. Nvidia driver 495.46 in high voice gives 36.5 MHz at 105 watts with an efficiency of 0.348. Nvidia Studio driver 472.84 in Windows 10 gives 35.5 MHz at 103 watts with an efficiency of 0.345. The latest Nvidia game ready driver 497.29 in Windows 10 gives 35.9 mega hash per second at 104 watts with an efficiency of 0.345. The winning driver for HiveOS is .46 while the winning driver for Windows is .29. The overall winner is .46 for HiveOS. The LHR value is 74.5 on pretty much all of them with the exception of the game ready driver .29 which is at 73.5. Now let's have a look at the average reported results for the RTX 3060 Ti LHR driver .47 in HiveOS 43.9 MHz per second at 124 watts which gives an efficiency of 0.354. The LHR value is 75.46 driver in Hive OS 44.5 MHz per second at 125 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.356, and the LHR value is 75 as well. Dot 84 in Windows 10, 44.6 MHz per second at 124 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.360. The LHR value is 75. Dot 29 driver in Windows 10. The hash rate is 43.3 MHz per second at 124 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.349. The LHR value is 73.5. The best Hive OS driver is 495.46. The best Windows driver is 472.84, um, which is a whole 1.3 megahertz faster than the game ready driver so definitely go studio driver and the best overall driver is the windows 10 studio driver 472.84 let's have a look at the average reported results for the rtx 3070 lhr the hash rate with the dot 47 driver in high voice is 46.2 megahertz per second at 112 watts which gives an efficiency of 0.413. The average reported result for the 
46.46 driver in HiveOS is 46.3 MHz per second at 112 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.413. The average reported result for the studio driver .84 in Windows 10 is 46.4 MHz per second at 113 watts, which gives an efficiency of 1, oh no, of 0 0.411. The average reported result for the game ready driver .29 in Windows 10 is 45.3 MHz per second at 112 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.404. The best driver for HiveOS is dot .46 with a whole dot .1 MHz per second, while the best driver for Windows is the Studio driver. The overall best driver really depends on if you prefer efficiency or if you prefer hash rate. The overall best driver for hash rate is the Studio driver, while the overall for uh, efficiency is .46 in HiveOS. Now let's have a look at the average reported results for the RTX 3070 Ti. The average reported result in HiveOS with the .74 driver is 59.1 MHz per second at 185 watts with an efficiency of 0 0.319. The average reported result with the .46 driver in HiveOS is 59.6 MHz per second at 186 watts which gives an efficiency of 0 0.320. The average reported in Windows 10 with the Studio Driver .84 is 59.7 MHz per second at 186 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.321. The average reported result on the .29 game ready driver in Windows 10 is 58.4 MHz per second at 187 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.312. The best driver for HiveOS is the .46 driver, while the best driver in Windows and the best overall driver is the Studio driver in Windows 10.84. Let's have a look at the average reported result for the RTX 3080 LHR. The average reported result for the .74 in HiveOS is 77.8 MHz per second at 247 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0.315. The average reported result for the .46 driver in HiveOS is 78.1 MHz per second at 245 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.319. The average result for the .84 Studio driver in Windows 10 is 78 MHz per second at 246 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.317. The average result for the game ready driver.29 in Windows 10 is 76.5 MHz per second at 245 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.312. It is finally time to have a look at the last card, the RTX 3080 Ti. The average reported result for the .74 driver in HiveOS is 90.0 MHz per second at 266 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.338. The average reported result for the .46 driver in HiveOS is 90.7 MHz per second at 266 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.341. The average result for the .48 Studio driver in Windows 10 is 90.5 MHz per second at 266 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.340. The average reported result for the game ready driver.29 in Windows 10 is 88.8 MHz per second, 265 watts, which gives an efficiency of 0 0.335. The best driver for HiveOS is 495.46 while the best driver for Windows is 472.84. The best overall driver for the RTX 3080 Ti is 495.46 in HiveOS. I would say the results are a little bit interesting and surprising that uh, it actually turns out that the overall best performing platform is Windows 10 when it comes to mining. But that is of course only with the tested drivers here. Of course it's a very close call between 495.46 in HiveOS and the studio driver 472.84 in Windows 10. So depending on which operating system you run, choose either of those. And I will be frank and say completely avoid the game ready drivers for Windows 10. They are the absolute worst. 
The same goes for 400.82 and 400.86 in high voice, and it was actually those two that kind of forced me into doing this test. Horrible hash rates, avoid. Which is actually a little bit funny because uh, HiveOS comes with one of them. And also, uh, HiveOS doesn't have 495.46 because that is a feature branch. I will show you now how you can get it, it's quite easy. Open your shell in the box or whatever you prefer and write NVIDIA dash driver dash update space 495.46 and press enter. And then if you have an SSD, it goes pretty fast. If you have a USB uh, 2, for example, uh, you should expect like somewhere between 45 minutes and an hour before it updates. If you are a Windows user, simply open your GeForce experience and click drivers and then click the three dots and select the studio driver. Remember to select clean installation when you get the option. I must admit that I was very skeptical when uh, I started on this. I wasn't sure that it would be worth it. It's a lot of hours to put into to these tests and not actually be 100% sure that they will pay off and not just show four times the exact same result. No subscriber has actually requested these uh, kind of uh, tests, so yeah. If you want to see more of these, please click a like on the video and go to the comments and write that you would like to see future driver tests as well. And definitely if the response I get from you is positive, then I will do them um, because they are quite extensive compared to everything else. But as you can see, they can also be quite rewarding if you choose the correct driver and you are running on a game ready driver. And I have absolute no problem spending the time on it as long as this is what you want to watch. I know that I said in my previous video that it was the last video of the year, but eh, it wasn't. And I'm not entirely sure this will be the last video of the year, but it's the last video of the year for now, until I make the next one, most likely. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you haven't liked the video, please like the video. If you have someone who's running on a game ready driver, share the video with them. Thank you very much, happy new year and I hope to see you in the next one.